Hey, what's up, Empire Builders? Welcome to another Ecom Vault video. Today, Ali is going to be going over the shoulder with you and building out Mr. Beast's newest business called Feastables, which we hacked on Wednesday, where you saw me purchasing his chocolate bars and all of that. In today's video, what Ali's gonna be doing is going over the shoulder and actually building out the entire Mr. Beast store funnel and giving it for you to download. All those instructions will be down below for you to download that template for yourself in the description of today's video, as well as in the video here with Ali. So let's stop talking. Let's go over the shoulder right now with Ali so we can start building out Mr. Beast's website. Hey, what's up, Empire Builder? So I hope you're enjoying today's video so far. If you want to be able to download any of the Ecom Vault templates, all you have to do is head over to storefunnels.net right now, click on the Get Started button, and from here, you're going to be able to select either a yearly option to sign up for Store Funnels or a monthly option to sign up for Store Funnels. Now, once you have done that, head over to your Store Funnels account, and right from here, you can add in new funnels. So right from here, we can click Funnels, and click create a new funnel and then make sure you select the ecom vault templates right here so we have all these different kinds of categories with tons of different templates within it already but the one you are most likely looking for is the one from our ecom vault youtube series so click that right here and you're going to see all of our ecom vault templates from here you can preview them to see how they look both on mobile desktop as well as uh, iphone and phone view and you can check them out and see if that fits for your brand and simply click add funnel and start modeling that template for yourself. Hey guys, welcome to another Ecom Vault. Uh, this is a series where we find and build seven and eight figure stores and funnels for you guys to use directly in your store funnels accounts. If you guys love what we're doing, please go ahead and drop us a like down below. We wanna give you a new store and new high figure, high seven, eight figure store and template every single week uh, to use. So if you guys appreciate the effort and if you guys appreciate the comment, please do us a favor and leave us a like down below. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. This was Mr. Beast's store, right? It is one of the more graphically challenging stores that we have done on store funnels. On the right is the actual store, on the left is the model that we've built based on the store. So um, if you guys can see, like we were able to get all of the, the, the fun graphics, all of them put together as well. And, uh, and so we're gonna show you how this actually happened, right? So what I'm gonna take you guys over is plate by plate how everything was built and how you guys can do the same, okay? Um, so the first thing is what, what I recommend you use is something like Canva, okay? And I would recommend, if it is something this graphically um, intense, I would recommend using a um, the pro version of Canva, okay? Because it's definitely going to be coming in handy when you're doing something like this, okay? So the first thing was building this, this sort of paint brushy background, okay? And it was very easy to do. All you have to do is go to Canva, go to Elements, right? And then you can go over here. These are my recently used, but what you guys can do is you can guys, you guys can put in paintbrush or paint, right? The paint element. And then you guys will have a lot of this, this, and these, all of these different effects, right? So once you put like a base color down, this is just a square block, and then you put a paint element on it, you see you can build this sort of, this, this sort of cool painty background, okay? On the left, it was just the logo. Again, we got this from the website. On the right, it was, uh, this. we were lucky enough to get this off the website directly to be able to build this uh first sort of plate of the website okay now what it's what's really important let's say you're doing this for your own brand okay um and and this this is what you're probably going to be doing you're going to be taking this store but you're going to be changing it to your website right so uh, the logo it's very simple just um you know um an image and text okay so that's that's it's not difficult at all it's more important to get these sort of offer stack images this is what we like to call them where you show the product in the best setting like on play three you'll see another really great offer stack image okay so what you're going to want to do for these is if you don't if you don't have the um graphic ability to make it yourself you're going to want to go on fiverr and you're going to want to find somebody who does this professionally right and so what this is called is product renders okay so what you can very easily do 
is give somebody a link to your supplier even if it is their uh, even if it is aliexpress you can give them um, the link to your supplier and once they have all of the product images right once they have all of the png files they can create these sort of 3d renders for us for example for untapped focus our supplement brand we didn't send the graphic designer the bottle we just showed them what it needed to look like and they were able to create 3d models of it so Creating 3D models is a great, great step. It's going to cost you some money. You know, different graphic designers charge about $100 to $200 to create these sort of 3D graphics. But once you have them, you can use them in your social media feeds. You can use them on your website. You can use them in any sort of marketing. And it just looks really, really good. And, you know, the way that they've made it, man, like um, I saw the final product and it is so close to it. And it's 3D and it's nice and it sticks out. So, uh, you would put the 3d model here and so these banners are just very easy to create again go on elements uh, go on lines and shapes and you can see all of these different shapes that you can use to create the the different banners right so you could you could you could very easily make all of this okay then so this was all just the graphic and all we had to do is once we put this on this sort of plate and the plate that i used was a presentation so if you go on canva and if you click on um, um uh, create a new file and if you go on presentation you should get this sort of sizing this sort of sizing is perfect it fits it fits really well over here i think it's 16 by 9 the ratio uh, and and so um, it fits really well. So you design a plate and so this is exactly what's happened. We've designed all of these different plates and we've just imported it into the um, uh, store funnel. Okay, then it, it, you have to put your button right here, uh, right, under the uh, un right under the logo. Okay, so the way that that happens essentially is you add a button widget, you add a spacer widget. So this is a spacer widget right here. Okay, this is a spacer widget. So I first added the spacer widget, then I added the button widget, and then I spaced it to be able to position the button right where I wanted it to. Okay, that's a little trick. All right, the next thing is this plate okay but before this plate i'm going to show you how to create this paper like effect okay to create this paper like effect to 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 sort of you know because this is like a wrapper right so we wanted to do like a wrapper effect that we saw like as you guys can see there's a wrapper effect between each of the sections the way that we did that was this is again very cool inside of store funnels if you go on block and if you go on shape divider you can choose a shape divider and you can choose where it appears so we have a blue shape divider at the bottom okay so that's how you create those dividers okay now this is a this is a really cool thing that we did okay now what you can do as a background for store funnels is also put gifs and videos okay so if you have a video background if you have a gif background you can actually put that at the back of the store funnel, okay so what we did here is we just downloaded th this was a gif we got directly from the website these are images that we got directly from the website and then we had to create this money falling gif okay now inside of store funnels actually um, you should be able to find this right so money falling okay uh, and so if you were to put this okay you could have it at, be at the back and you could remove watermarks and stuff like that okay and you could even have something like this you know remove watermarks and stuff you know you could have this but let's say you don't want to get the pro version or upgrade or or whatever um you may be you may think you know you could even get this which is just um, you know money falling down you can get something like this you know to create that but if you want this gif all you have to do is go search for money falling gif transparent okay if you type that down or if you type down any gif transparent and download it you can simply just upload it as you guys can see i'm just going to show you one of the uploads which is which was um it's going to be in the video section it's this right it's the money falling gif right we uploaded it and we got this effect so once we did that you go ahead you click download you go to download as a gif right you download page number two as a gif and then you upload it directly over here as a gif and you will see the backgrounds actually moving as opposed to sat static so that's a really really great uh, feature in inside of store funnels that we use to create the second uh, plate okay now the third plate again is very simple um all we had to do was create the plate again here on canva and then upload it and then put the button again 
create a spacer, put in the button and then make sure that the button was right justified to create this entire effect. Um, so what's really important here is the fact that this, this, this paper like effect was so cool. Okay. And the way to do that actually is not to go on this block, to, but to actually go on this block because the paper like effect is on the bottom of this block. Okay, and you have to make sure that the background color that you're choosing, right, the background color that you're choosing is the same over here. So this is why I recommend always getting the color picker tool because it's gonna give you accurate information. So I can just copy this um, color code and then I can go here to this block. I can go to the uh, divider and I can make sure it's the exact same color, okay? And so this is the exact way we did this, all right? This is the exact way we created this effect. And it just looks really cool. It flows really well. And it has sort of this really cool branding that I, that I, that I love, okay? Finally, it was um, creating the um, um, different sort of um, offers that were there. For this, it's important to have your own product images, but in PNG form, which means the background is transparent. Um, fortunately, we were able to get all of these from the website directly to be able to upload it. And then all you have to do is create the shop now buttons, which is you know extremely easy. All you have to do is grab a widget, uh, grab the button widget, and then put that over here. All you have to do is create a full, you know, what we actually over did over here was added a new block made sure the block was empty and once we created an empty block we went to resize and then we made sure that it was full width so it was a big sort of block right it wasn't sort of put put all together over here right and so once we did that we were able to just uh, go to column settings and um, make sure that it was a four column right split the columns into four then we had four columns and then, then we put all of the text in uh, put spacing in uh, to make sure that it was all in line over here, then try all, then have all the subheads, and then have all the shop now buttons. So that was good. Now, this is actually not uh, uh, text. We actually created uh, images here. So I'm going to show you another Canva. This is my Canva Pro. And with Canva Pro, what you can do is you can create the, um, the uh, text over here. You can go over here. To down you download this you can download this as a PNG and you can click this transparent background okay so let's say we we do that okay uh, and we download it then now what what ends up happening is that you get this image okay as a transparent image then what you want to do is you want to crop it so you want to make sure that it isn't um, um, uh, what do you say this all of this or you know blank space isn't being used and then you can just press um, uh, com command K if you're using a Mac or whatever cropping tool you use on Windows and then what you do is you just upload it over here and because it's transparent as a background it's just going to choose the background that it has the same thing happened over here feast like a beast as you guys can see um, uh, you know you can you can use a color picker and do this uh, on the free version where you make sure the background is the same color uh, of the um, website so that's a little hack but if you're doing something this graphically intensive I would just get the free version this was again very easy to build all we did was go ahead and build it on Canva itself um, let me show you guys all right so I I don't have that file over here but it was very easy to just sort of build this on Canva again just needed to take white blocks um, um, uh, write the text, write the five star, um, write, the, you know, put this on, put this in circles and stuff like that. Or uh, an easier way, um, we just sort of screenshotted it and imported it as well. You can do that. Uh, but if you're going to create your own, I would definitely just recommend to create it in Canva um, using the presentation file. Okay. Finally, uh, you have the icon buttons. Uh, again, this was uh, easy to do because all you have to do is go to Flaticon. I love using Flaticon because it has, you know, every sort of icon that you may need. Okay. So let's say we need the um, uh, Twitter icon. Okay. Twitter. Okay. Um, now we can go over here and then we can go over here and something that says edit icon. Okay. When you click edit icon, you can log in over here. And uh, once you log in with any account, um, you can go over here, edit icon, click this, and then you can change the color, which is just awesome. You can change the color. So we change the color to match 
of the website and that's 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 how this was again this like one repeat and you guys can see we did that on canva itself where is it it was it was somewhere here but this was done on canva right this is a transparent image as you guys can see over here and over here this was again made on canva um the more you feast the more you eat the more you feast the more you help downloaded it and put it over here and uh, a simple footer uh didn't want to go too crazy with this um footers are very easy to add you can go to add a block and they have a separate image for footers so you you can choose whichever one i just chose this one or actually i think it was this one and made it uh the same color as the header and and there you have it so guys this is how you build a very graphically challenged website on um uh, on store funnels you use a um, graphic design software such as photoshop or actually even easier canva this is how we design all of the different plates imported it and made sure that it looked really really good so if you guys enjoyed this training please do us a massive favor and smash that like button below and if you want to use this template go ahead and download it with store funnels the link is down below make sure you go to websites make sure you go to ecom vault and you will find this website right there thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one